tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hello, uh, something I want to show you today is uh, about uh, a rendering problem which I had and which got solved. If you have this problem as well as I have had it, uh, well, you're fine now. But before we start, I want to show you something which really brought a lot of joy to me. Uh, I did a tutorial in the past about uh, be being patient when Maya launches. Let us launch Maya 2020. Uh, could have launched the earlier versions as well. So it's an educational license, as you see, because I'm your teacher. This is my 2020.4 uh, and it's loading, loading, loading. You don't know what is really happening. And uh, while it's loading, you have to be patient, initializing something. And now you think, oh, I'm ready to start, but nothing happens here. Even now, you cannot navigate the scene, you cannot do anything. And that is because my needs to load several things, and uh, this takes time. And when is my ready? That's the question. Not now. I cannot use these menus here, nothing. The attribute editor is not visible. I cannot create an object. Hovering the mouse over the NURBS sphere does not show us the context menu. So it still is thinking. And I'm waiting until something is happening in this line. And then Maya will be almost ready. <laughs> so this has been the case for basically all previous versions. This odd behavior. That's why I did a tutorial about being patient. Please be patient. My needs to start up. <gasps> okay, something is happening here now. Still not able to load anything. I hover the mouse over here and now it starts to work. Now I can open a scene, etc. So this is how long it took. Now let me close this and launch my 2022. My 2022 launches with the verified license, which is fine, a student license again. And now you see this slider here. And this slider is really a great innovation. Loading plugins and it's loading, it's loading. And once it's finished with this blue line here, which is pretty soon actually, Maya is ready to be used all right. So we see what's happening here and now we're ready. Okay, we can open a scene. What's the time difference for loading these two pieces of software, the 2020 and the 2022? Well, here is the problem I had. I create some kind of geometry, for example, this plane here. And now I go to FX and I create a particle emitter Cre not create an emitter, but create, that's a legacy, emit from object. And I want to emit particles from this object here. And um, I want them not to be emitted uh, omnidirectionally, but uh, from the surface. And I go to the nucleus. You don't need to follow uh, all these details here. It's just my taste. And the gravity, uh, instead of 9.8, minus 5. So uh, the particles move up. That's what they do. Of course, these particles are infinitely small. That's why they don't render properly in Arnold. But I can make them bigger, go back to the N particle shape and to the shading. And in the shading, I change the particle render type from points to spheres. Now I have these large spheres that go to particle size and I reduce the radius from 0 0.2 to 0 0.05, for example, I have little particles and they evaporate from this surface. Very nice and very trivial actually. Now when I want to render it, of course I need a light and I go to Arnold lights and I introduce a skydome light. 
something I always do because I don't want to see that light geometry here. I go to show and dis deactivate the lights. Uh, it, this does not harm anything in the scene. The light will still be available. It will still light up the scene. Now I go to down here to visibility. I'm in the AI Skydome light shape node here and I change the camera visibility from 1 to 0. That means the light will be black, uh, black background, but it still has the effect of a light. Now I go to renderer and I render this in Arnold and I get this view here. When I navigate the scene you see the shadows down here. Very nice. Okay, now I go to the render settings and in the render settings I choose a name. I call it test. I rarely call animations test but in this case I do. I render uh, PNGs which is not necessary anyway and I render a sequence of files from 1 to 10 which is fine and I render perspective window and the presets. This is all not important. Uh, important is that I'm going to render it with a render menu and go to render. I render the sequence. It would be the same when I batch render the scene I guess but I cannot batch render the scene because I don't have uh, the, the full license of Maya uh, but render sequence does the same job apart from the well issue that uh, when I render the scene the sequence here I cannot continue using Maya. I have to wait until the rendering is finished. Um, well, I render the scene now and now check please what you see in the rendering. You don't see the particles. And I thought this is a bug. It sort of is. It's irritating because you set up such a nice scene and then it does not render the particles. It renders the plane all right, but not the particles. That's why I went to the Maya area. It's right here. You t just type in Maya, Autodesk Maya area. I need to sign in because I want to post comments. I go to the forums and here I have the Maya forum and I posted my question about this rendering problem in the Maya shading lighting and rendering forum and you actually should see it right away it's right here and I got a reply by M Spear who is very active here he wrote, I cannot confirm this because I just described my problem. Um, it doesn't matter what render view is used, the particles are rendered without any issues. Please add more details. That's what I did. I created a, an unlisted video and uh, I called it Maya 2022 Render Sequence and End Particles. And uh, I demonstrated that problem. Basically the problem which I just demonstrated to you and M Spear answered, Thanks for the video. This problem is related to cached playback. Just disable cached playback or make sure to rewind to frame 1 before you start the rendering. Then it works as is expected. And please report to this problem, if it's a bug, to Autodesk in the Maya main menu, help, speak back, report a problem. And thanks again. I think I encountered a similar problem with Maya 2020 and earlier. I don't remember actually, but now let's try this. Uh, just disable cached playback or make sure to rewind to frame 1 before starting to render. That's what I'm going to do now. I go in my timeline back to frame number 1. And now I render the sequence again. And the problem is not solved. When I run the simulation here in the viewport, Nothing happens. The particles have gone. Why is that? Well, I don't know. We have the emitter here. We have the end particle system here. And, well, I really don't know. That's why I start a new scene.
and now I do see the simulation. Now I go back to the very beginning as it was suggested by M. Spear and now I render the sequence again. Go to rendering and I render the sequence. And now I see the particles. Very nice. I don't know why I lost the animation in the first attempt, but now the particles render all right. This were, these were 10 frames. That's just fine. And uh, now I want to show you how to disable the cache playback. Right mouse click here in the timeline, cache playback, and you just deactivate it. That means all these lines, the red and the blue one, disappear. Well, thank you again for watching and thank you uh, Mspear for solving this problem. I don't know if I really want to report this as a problem. By the way, here is the area community. You can find it here directly from within Maya. And here I can speak back and report a problem. But I think I won't do this. Well, thanks for watching and this is me. Bye-bye. <laughs>